Well, good afternoon, all. My name's Stu Wolf, and I've been a woodworker for 50 years. Um, because I've got limited space, one of the main tools in my shop is a Shopsmith Mark 510. Uh, this is the second Shopsmith I've had. I had a Mark II, which I finally gave up about 30 years ago, uh, and bought this. And this is, you know, Shopsmith, I don't care what anyone says, a lot of people stick their nose up at them. It's a Cadillac of woodworking tools, especially if you need something that'll do more than one tool or act as more than one tool. Additionally, because of the way it's designed, it can do a lot of things that any standalone tool can't do. I can't say enough good things about the Shopsmith. However, uh, there was always one big drawback for me. And that was that the table saw, while the table's nice and wide and is good in terms of that, and you've got a good infeed, length of in infeed, the outfeed is disastrously short. You need an outfeed table that's got some length to it and some meat to it, because if you're feeding some, a piece of wood through, it needs somewhere to go. You get to a relatively long piece of wood, and you're feeding it through and you let go, and guess what happens? It's going over. You know, now, there are more than, there's more than one way around that. You can bring in a roller stand and set it up. It looks like it's a little bit high, so I'm going to bring it down just a hair. That's probably good. And for long stock, you can feed it through, and it'll roll right off, and it will support your piece. That's great if you've got a longer piece, but if you're running relatively short pieces, they're still going to fall over. Put a short piece of wood through it, and come through, and it's going to go off. I can't put. I could put a roller stand, but I think it's rather dangerous if I've got it that close. I don't like to have it that close. I like to have it further away. So what Shopsniff really needs is an outfeed table. Unfortunately, with the design of the machine, that's not easy because your rip fence connects and grabs both the outsides of these bars. So if you put something on here, you lose a rip fence. And the T-slots are almost parallel to the top of this bar. So if you want T-slots in it, you can't do it. So it's just very difficult. Well, uh, necessity is the mother of invention. I was cutting some short pieces, uh, repetitive pieces that I needed to do. I was actually uh, ripping them. And I needed to figure out a way to you know, rig up a uh, that feed table. And I I can't tell you why, but you know, necessity being the mother of an invention, I just looked at it and I said, I'll bet using my floating tables I can do this. And I discovered I can. The way the shopsmith set up, you've got an end table that can go on this end of the machine or this end. I happen to have it on this end right now. You normally have it raised to the same height as your uh, main table. And this way you can take wide stock and run it across. But if you take this table, take it out and reverse it, it's about the right height, reverse it, this is now sticking out past this. That enables you to take your floating tables and adjustable legs, here's one of the adjustable legs, put that in, I always adjust it without a table on it. Tables weigh something. That's about right. Put that in there, hang your two floating tables on that. So I've got it in there, I'll actually take it out to put the tables on. in here that you can tighten, and I just take an Allen wrench and stick it in and cinch it down, nice and tight. 
this is about the right height. I bring my other one in a little bit short right now, so I'll raise it up a bit. That's about right. Presto, lock down. I actually made the outfit table a little bit too high, so we'll lower it just a bit. I now have an outfit table. I can run a, run a longer piece of wood through it, and it's going to stick. It will also catch my shorter piece of wood. If you've got a 510, and I'm guessing a 520 will do the same thing. I'm not sure about that, I don't have one, but if you've got a 510, you've got an automatic way that you could set up an outfeed table, which makes ripping wood a lot safer. So, that's my tip of the day. Have a great day. Bye.